sometimes it's really difficult to pick or choose a favorite oil, but I have to tell you that Copaiba for me has quickly become one of my favorite essential oils. I use it all the time. One of my favorite uses, for example, with Copaiba is I use it every morning when I awake. I generally do that with just a few drops under my tongue. But the broad activity that's associated with Copaiba means that you're not limited to only using it in that way. One of the unique features that we see with this essential oils is its ability to act within the endocannabinoid system. That's supportive of the body in many different ways. We, a lot of times when we talk about essential oils or through our own experience, we like to develop this mindset that says this oil is perfect or good for only this. One of the things that I like to do when I think about the chemistry of essential oils is, yeah, we have some dominant features, but remember, the real value of essential oils comes because we have multiples of different types of compounds that are readily available. That means that although we talk a lot about the endocannabinoid system and copaiba and the benefits that come from that, this is an essential oil that, like all essential oils, has benefits that go beyond the obvious. One of the things that we're beginning to discover about this essential oil is the supportive nature it has for many functions within the body, including our cells and the interaction that we have within our cells. Recently, I had the wonderful opportunity to spend some time in Brazil. While there, we had the chance to be up close and personal with many of the individuals who are sourcing copaiba resin for us, from which, you know, we extract the essential oils. It was really interesting to see how the care and the time that it takes for us to be able to receive the material we need to produce this essential oil. This is generational, where it's more than just going out and tapping into a tree. There's an art that's associated with this that generally is passed on from one individual to another. This is also representative of what we do in doTERRA as a whole, and I think Kabaiba gives us this up-close personal view of sometimes how labor-intensive it can be, but how specific that process becomes. It's important that we understand those processes in its entirety, and I would want you to know and understand that in doTERRA, we not only do that better than anybody else, but we're committed to that 100% with all of the oils that we produce. I hope in the future at some point you'll have an opportunity to maybe see some of these processes a little more closely. Until then, look for some of the information we'll be sharing about the time that we had in Brazil and many of the other opportunities we have for sourcing essential oils around the world.